Hello once again. This is Cameron Day. This recording is coming to you from ascensionhelp.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about peeling the layers and being patient with the process of cleaning up your own limiting attitudes and reclaiming the power from them. Although I won't be going too much into techniques on this recording, it's still a good idea that you listen to this after listening to the previous recordings on the Cosmic Flush, Energy Refund, Ego Minimizer, and Reclaiming Energy. So this process of self-clearing with the goal of ascension, quote-unquote, it's not something that you can rush. You can't just go in and peel away your entire ego in a day or in a month or a year. We've repeated all of these emotions and thoughts and memories and patterns and judgments over and over again in our minds so many times. We've put so much of our mental energy into them that they are going to take time to remove. Fortunately, the techniques on this site do help make this process fairly efficient. And so what does it really mean to peel the layers? Well, my definition of this is that even though you address an issue today and you do it as completely as possible, you're only addressing as much as you can deal with at this time. So over the next few weeks, other issues will come up in your psyche and you'll peel away and reclaim power from those issues at those times. Now let's say a month has gone by and suddenly another layer, another aspect of an issue that you addressed a few weeks ago shows itself, pops back into your consciousness, the thought process or a judgment or a person or an event comes into your life it triggers all the same stuff and you think to yourself oh I didn't make any progress I, I just worked on this and here I am in the same situation again but what's really going on is that you've moved to a deeper layer of that issue and that is progress so you should acknowledge the progress that you've made because it's an easy trap for the mind to fall into to think, oh gee, I didn't do it right the first time. I failed. I'm going to be stuck in these patterns forever, blah blah blah. That's your ego. When you sense that occurring, thank your ego for its input. Ask it to sit quietly in the corner. And if you want to, hold the awareness of the attitudes that it's popped up and work on them right there in that moment. Although you may be a little more distracted by the original issues that, that had surfaced that your ego is uh, telling you that you haven't owned. Because in reality you haven't fully owned them. And that's okay. You're peeling away the layers. So you just want to acknowledge that you're encountering a deeper level of that issue be thankful that it's shown itself to you again in a clear enough way that you can address that deeper layer right now. And then after you've gone through the process of reclaiming your energy and taking back as much as you can at that time, just remind yourself that I will be mindful of this pattern in my consciousness and the next time it shows up, I will just reclaim my energy that has gone into keeping it in place in my psyche. It doesn't matter what you say, just the intent, that you're going to be mindful of what's happening in your consciousness, and when a deeper level of a pattern or issue emerges, that you'll address that deeper level at the time. Now during this whole process of reclaiming energy from self-created attitudes and limitations, your ego is going to flare up and it's going to try to reassert its hold over your mind and to maintain its identity 
The ego forms its identity through what's your story of your history. All of your past events. All of the emotions on those past events. So, as we're taking the power back from those emotions, your ego is going to freak out a little bit because it's losing its power over your mind. It wants to do 95% of the thinking, but it should only be doing 10. So, diminishing it down to 10% is a process that you simply have to work through. So ego flare-ups will take the form of many, many different ways. It depends on the person. It depends on your own unique history. Just watch out for irrational emotional outbursts or even irrational emotions on the inside that don't ever come out. Watch out for judging others or judging yourself or judging the current events of your life. Watch out for lack-based thoughts, dwelling on painful emotions of the past. Also be mindful of excessive worrying about the future, or any worrying about the future. The ego loves to analyze every angle, every intrigue, you know, every political undercurrent that's happening in your life with the people in it. That's your ego. Just minimize it when that occurs take back any power that's in those issues that the ego is bringing up to you and that's the key one of the keys to this process is instead of succumbing to that torrent of thoughts that the ego can produce you simply as soon as you recognize that your ego is doing the thinking in your mind, think it, minimize it, and then engage the process of reclaiming your energy from whatever issue that it's brought up to you at that moment. It's extremely simple. It sounds almost too simple. But if you engage this process often enough, then you will literally unravel the structure of your ego. And, as the ego is fighting for its own importance, it's going to show you the exact issues that you still have unresolved in your psyche. And once you've properly diminished the ego, you've got it back to where it's only doing 10% of the thinking in your mind. It's simply acting as your GPS or your office assistant. The light the one infinite creator will shine through you. Amazing creativity, abundance, joy, and love will emanate from you naturally. You will tap into aspects of your mind that you never even knew existed because they were overshadowed by your ego. And as this process unfolds, every time you get a little brighter and your frequency gets a little higher, you are literally broadcasting a higher, more loving frequency to the entire field of consciousness on this planet. And as more and more people engage whatever process of self-clearing that works for them, as more and more people get cleaner within themselves, within their minds and their hearts, and more loving. That love affects those around them and eventually can transform our entire society. And that, in my definition, is an ascension process. So thank you for joining me on this process through these five recordings. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you benefit tremendously from them. If you do, please share with a friend and consider making a donation as well. If you'd like to find out more about remote energy sessions that I offer, go to ascensionhelp.com and click on Remote Energy Clearings. Thank you very much, and in the love of the One Infinite Creator, I wish you all the blessings that life has to offer.